All right, in April, I did something that would change my life forever. I did a test for seven weeks where I would tape my mouth shut. And by the end of the test, my life changed. My sleep got so much better. My oral health improved by a vast amount and I was starting to breathe through my nose. So keep watching this video because I'm gonna show you exactly why I did the test in the first place, the benefits I got from it, how to tape your mouth if you do so choose to do it. Uh, but if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the video. It really helps the algorithm. And if you're ready, let's go. So why did I start mouth taping in the first place? Well, it started at the dentist. I went to the dentist after a very long trip to Mexico. I, I wasn't going to any dental appointments down there. I needed to get a teeth cleaning, so I went to the dentist and then they found that I had cavities and they also found that I was grinding in my teeth. So one of the things that uh, they told me to do was uh, get this mouth guard, it's gonna protect your teeth and all this kind of stuff. And I personally don't like treating things at the symptoms. I actually like treating things at the cause. So I wanted to find out what was the cause of teeth grinding in the first place. And I have a Twitter audience. Right now we're at about 259K uh, in terms of like the amount of people. So I put it out there to my Twitter audience that I was grinding in my sleep and what could we do to fix this problem? So a lot of things came back from my audience, really loved them, super grateful for them. And they said, uh, it's stress, you should meditate, do all this kind of stuff. And then I had a lot of people come back and say, you should try mouth taping. And I've heard about mouth taping before, but I never really tried it because it actually sounds a little bit weird. But enough people were telling me to try it out. Uh, it was something that was somewhat interesting to me. And I decided to go about and do some research about it. And what I found out was pretty surprising. So number one, mouth breathing is sabotaging your health. What you need to know is that you have two separate systems uh, in your body. So one is the sympathetic nervous system and it is what's called your fight or flight system. So this type of system prepares your body for strenuous exercise or to run away from a bear if you see it in the forest. And one of the ways in which to activate the system is through breathing through the mouth. Now the other system is called your parasympathetic nervous system. And this is a very relaxed, uh, what we call a uh, stress relieving type of system. It also helps with digestion, it helps you de-stress, and it helps you kind of relax after uh, periods of running away from bears possibly. <laughs> So one of the ways in which to activate the system is through breathing through the nose. So even while you're watching this video right now, can you find yourself breathing through the mouth a little bit? What you may find is that when you're breathing through your mouth, you're already activating this fight or flight response. When the reality is, is that if you are not trying to run away from a bear, so to speak, you don't want to be in that stressed out response for the rest of the day. You actually want to be chill and relaxed. And then that keeps you focused and gives you clarity instead of having this stressed out response towards how you react to the day. So scientists are also finding that mouth breathing has a few other detrimental effects to the health. It can cause abnormal face, facial growth. It can cause ADHD. It could be uh, a cause of high blood pressure. It can worsen asthma. It can deprive the heart and brain of blood flow. And why does this happen? So mouth breathing forces air through the airway at such a large volume that it actually collapses your lungs. As opposed to breathing through the nose, that is supposed to be where you naturally take in the air. It actually gives you the proper amount of air to go through. And there is also a number of benefits that come with nose breathing. So what I found is that nose breathing is great for your sleep and your dental health and just your overall health in general. So like we said before, it puts your body into a relaxed state. And also what nose breathing does is it actually helps you, uh, I wouldn't say eliminate, but definitely reduce the amount of snoring that you do, the amount of sleep apnea that you experience through the night. Also nose breathing makes you close your mouth. That's number one. And this creates a healthy oral microbiota system. And the microbiota system, you have one in your gut, you have one in your mouth. This is actually what keeps your teeth clean and it can only keep your teeth clean through saliva. So when you're breathing through your mouth and you're drying out your mouth, you're actually crushing this oral microbiota system. And one of the things in relation to the story that I said before was that when you breathe through your nose, your mouth is closed. And then this also helps reduce or eliminate 
the teeth grinding that happens for a lot of people when they keep their mouths open when they sleep. Now, one of the key things here is that nose breathing produces nitric oxide. So people who breathe through the mouth are deprived of nitric oxide uh, because about a quarter of it is produced in your sinuses. And the benefits of increased nitric oxide production can be anywhere between enhanced learning and cognition. It can regulate blood pressure. It can regulate your inflammatory response. It can increase strength and endurance, and it can also help improve your immune system. So there's a little story uh, when Spartans were uh, getting trained for their fights. They would actually put water inside their mouths. They would uh, close it up and then they would do a run for about five to 10 kilometers. They would come back and they would spit out whatever water was in there. Now, I believe they did this more so for the fact of just like making themselves tough, but also what they did was they were regulating most of their breathing to, through their noses. And if there's one key lesson that you should learn from this is that your mouth was meant for eating, talking, and tasting. Your nose was meant for breathing and smelling. Now, one of the best ways to regulate breathing to the nose is through mouth taping. And what is mouth taping? It's very simple. Uh, you take a piece of tape, you put it across your mouth. I usually do this at night. And then what that does is it stops you from breathing through your mouth and it regulates all your breathing through your nose. And one of the ways I do this is with uh, this Nexcare Stronghold uh, tape for sensitive skin. Uh, all I do uh, before I go to sleep is I just rip off a piece of this about uh, the size, about just larger than my mouth. Oh, what I do is I pucker my lips Mm -hmm. Now, what have I learned from taping my mouth? One of the most important things I've learned is uh, what I've just told you before, which is uh, nose breathing is such a net positive uh, for your overall health and for your overall body. Uh, a couple of things I realized when I was uh, breathing through my nose, especially when taking my mouth at night, was my sleep got massively enhanced. So I track my sleep with an aura ring and this allows me to see exactly what my sleep scores were. Uh, it's, it's derived out of uh, seeing your deep sleep, your REM sleep, uh, your latency, and a whole bunch of other factors. They put it all together and then they show you exactly how much sleep you got. And when I started taping my mouth, I saw that my scores got 10% to 15% higher. I actually scored on the Aura Ring. Uh, I had my first score of 90, uh, which is uh, almost unheard of for me, okay? And one thing you have to know about me is that I had this history of just waking up in the middle of the night and having to go pee, having to go to the washroom. And I thought that was because I had a small bladder. And I did this for from my high school years all the way up to like my 40s, which is when I started trying this. And I thought it was because of my bladder. I felt really embarrassed about it. But what I realized is it wasn't because of my bladder. It was because I was breathing through my mouth and that was disrupting my sleep. So now when I sleep, it's like I time travel. I basically close my eyes, put my uh, head down on the pillow, and then I wake up at like five or 6 a.m. and I'm just like so jarred because I'm so used to waking up in the middle of the night, seeing that it's like two or 3 a.m. in the morning and then having to get myself to go back to sleep. It is one of the most trippiest things, especially if you find yourself waking up in the middle of the night on a regular basis. Uh, I, I literally call it time traveling because it, you, you close your eyes and you wake up and it's the next day and that is like one of the most coolest things ever. Now, one of the other things that I realized is that my uh, dental health improved by a large margin. Uh, I went to my hygienist right after I did this six week uh, mouth taping test. They came back at me and said, well, Dan, you know, your teeth are actually pretty clean. Uh, this is probably one of the first times that you don't necessarily need to do this uh, cleaning. And I was like surprised. I was almost flabbergasted because every single time I go to the dentist, I've actually had the worst history with dentists. Uh, I've had cavities, I've had root canals, I've had crowns replaced. Uh, pretty much every single dentist came back at me, has come back at me and said, Dan, like you pretty much have to like keep on getting cleanings like every three months. And this was one of the first times that they actually found that I didn't necessarily carry plaque on my teeth as much as I had before. Now, I also have this like little retainer down here 
and it, it's just pasted to the back of my teeth. It carries a lot of plaque. What I found is that I don't necessarily collect a lot of plaque under there anymore uh, because my mouth is closed uh, during the night and also during the day, which I'm gonna talk about in about one second. So like I said before, your mouth has its own microbiota system and it is healthier when it is swished in saliva, when it is not necessarily dried out if you are mouth breathing. And then this helps uh, keep your teeth clean. And the final benefit that I got from mouth taping was finding myself breathing through the nose a lot more during the day. So when I'm doing work, sometimes I find myself just like slightly opening my mouth like and then after I started taping my mouth, it's like it was like an automatic uh, system switch in terms of me breathing through my nose. And also, I would be much more cognizant of the fact that I was breathing through my mouth, whether I was doing work, whether I was working out, and I would regulate, I would remind, or I remind myself to regulate most of the breathing through my nose. And then what I found is, is that it's much more efficient to breathe through the nose, whether doing your work or whether working out, than it is to breathe through your mouth. You really want to only use mouth breathing when you really need to use it, whether it's me doing like a max heart rate session uh, on the treadmill or outside running hills, like you need to get in that amount of air into your body. But otherwise, in very just like regular daily activities, you don't necessarily need to mouth breathe. It's almost like, uh, it's almost like uh, giving you too much air and that causes a lot of problems like we mentioned before. Now, are there any dangers to mouth breathing? Uh, none that I've seen with myself or even my clients, although people who have sinus issues, you may want to tread lightly when it comes to these things. And to date, we haven't found any contraindications when it comes to mouth taping. It's actually been found to be pretty safe overall. I've gotten people who have had, who are uh, on CPAP machines to tape their mouth. I've uh, gotten people who, are, who suffer from sleep apnea to tape their mouth, and then they found that their sleep is significantly enhanced. Uh, there are some people who are really scared about taping their mouth and then waking up and feeling like they're Neo in the Matrix and their mouth is like all, you know. <laughs> and, uh, and maybe that happens. Uh, you know, for me, uh, I actually found that I, one day, one night, I actually subconsciously took my tape off. I woke up with my mouth open and I was just like, what happened to my tape? It was somewhere on my bed. Uh, but I, I do believe that uh, you're, you are a little bit more uh, survival prone than you are to getting yourself in such situations. So I'm not going to say that you shouldn't worry about that. But again, you know, I, I would do your own research when it comes to this stuff, especially if you're kind of a little bit more trepidatious. And that's pretty much it. Mouth taping has been a revelation for me. I am going to continue doing it pretty much for the rest of my life. Not only has it changed my life, it's also changed the lives of my clients. And one of the things that I say, especially when it comes to your sleep, when it comes to your oral health, when it comes to breathing in general, uh, these are things that we have to live with on a regular basis. So why not make these things as awesome as humanly possible? Why not optimize them? Why not make them the best? Why not learn the best ways to do them? And by really mastering the basics and the foundations, what you're going to do is you are going to have the compound interests of health. Uh, when you make improvements to these small little areas of your life that you do over and over and over, what happens as a result is, is that the compound interest adds up to the point where you have more focus, you have uh, more energy, you have more clarity. And one thing I will say as a result of doing this test a lot of really cool things have happened in my life. I've been able to focus a lot more. I've uh, been able to have a lot more energy. I've been starting to uh, do a lot. Actually, I've been starting to crush PRs inside of the gym. I've had so many benefits as a result of uh, this little test that it's just stupid for me not to continue on and do it. And that is it. So if you want uh, the link to the piece of tape that I use, which is really inexpensive, uh, I've tried every single brand out there. Uh, the one that I use is, is fairly inexpensive. You can check it out at the link below. And also, uh, if you want to get lean, confident, and energetic with your body, uh, I have a link below for my free four-step system that our clients use. Uh, and that is completely free. You can check it out at the link below. And then again, if, you're, if you've gone this far and you got some value out of this video, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. it. Helps the algorithm. And that's about it. I will see you on the next one.